one and all this uh, video is for class 10 genetics today we are going to start the chapter genetics so stay very much alert because it is a completely a technical chapter and if at all you can't understand the things you can't write the conceptual based question related from this because the only question which will come from this chapter is the conceptual based question anywhere anywhere you will go now so next is the genetics this is the second chapter for 10th standard now <clears throat> genetics means the study of genes whenever we are talking what is genes we all know that uh, carrier of the hereditary material what is heredity heredity means what our forefathers has done that same thing slowly slowly from forefathers to us it has came from our great grandparents to our grandparents and from grandparents to our parents from parents to us that is heredity means from the forefather to our parents grandparents from grandparents to our parents from parents to us means anything which is inheritable from our right from the birth of our great grandfathers forefathers which is coming generation after generation in our body now that is heredity genetics is based on two things heredity and variation variation means any observable differences i will come to each and every topic in a very descriptive way now just introduction for introduction i am telling all this heredity we understood right from parents to the offsprings how the things are going on from one generation to the other generation and variation means any observable differences now talking about character what is character character means any inheritable feature now let's say i'm having brownish eye my brownish eye is expressed in my body and people can see it means i i am expressed with a brownish eye that is inheritable feature what is trait alternate form of a character let's say in my body there are two genes one is brownish eye and one is blackish eye but brownish eye is more observable it is because the brownish eye is dominant over the blackish eye brownish eye is dominant over the blackish eye it doesn't means that it will stay dominant in all the generations which will be starting from my part never it means that in my generation only the brownish eye is dominant it can be possible that my child my son or my daughter will have the blackish eye as dominant it means in him or her the blackish eye will be dominant over the brownish eye means out of two genes if any gene is dominant that gene will be expressive in the body and that may change generation after generation means in one generation may be brown dominant other generation may be black dominant it can be possible there is no doubt about it now having said this we cannot forget whenever we are talking about genetics we cannot forget johann gregor mendel who is the pioneer of this johann gregor gregor mendel was a monk and he did the experiment but before doing the experiment he wrote the exam to become a teacher but unfortunately he failed in that exam and what happened is what happened next has made him teachers of teacher he started doing experiment with the green pea green pea pisum sativum the biological name he selected the green pea because green pea comes very fastly green pea can reproduce very fastly and can go from one generation to the other generation he found that some of the characters are blending means mixing well and some of the factors are not mixing some of the factors are mixing and some of the factors are not mixing means some of the gr green pea are green in color some of the peas are slight greenish in color some are round and some are shrinked one like wrinkled ones and then later he called this as factors but these are not factors because those days the latin word was so much developed that people were not knowing about genes so he used the word factor but later johnson danish a uh, danish botanist johnson johnson has given the word genes and that genes has now become an inheritable vehicle which is transferring from one generation to the other generation carrying the characters now this is what about the mendel and what about the danish botanist johnson what they did mendel found the factor that is not mixing well and that factor is later known as genes by johnson now before going to all these things let us have a brief discussion on character trait and variation heredity you might have understood that is from forefather the things are inherited until us it came and from ourselves it will go to our next generation 
Now, next is we will talk about character. Any inheritable feature, any inheritable feature is called as character, and alternate form of character is called as the trait. Now, this character and trait forms the word variation. How? Let us take a small example of small family is there mother, father, one son, and a daughter. Now, the mother is having curly hair, father is having straight hair. Mother is having bluish eye, father is having blackish eye. Color of mother hair is brown, father's color hair is black. The son and the daughter, whomsoever is there present in the family, will inherit the feature of both. How? How we have to understand this? We can understand it by just giving a small example. Let us say, let us talk about the son first. The son may have the character like the mother. Means the son may have the hair like mother and eyes like father. The daughter may have the eyes like mother and hair like father. It means that the inheritable feature of both the parents are there in the son and the daughter. We cannot say directly that the son is completely looking like father, the uh, daughter is completely looking like mother or the daughter is completely looking fa fa like father and the son is completely looking like mother. We cannot say. Inheritable feature that is the character of both the parents are there in both the children. In the son also it is there, in the daughter also it is there. Having said this, in sexual reproduction only the variation takes place. Why? Because sexual reproduction involves two parents. In sexual reproduction, sharing up of gametes takes place. But in asexual reproduction, it involves only one parent and no sharing up of gametes takes place. Now, this variation is generally because of three things. First of all, reshuffling of the gene. When the genes reshuffle means it is changing its position at the time of division, cell division and as well as after the fertilization when the cell division takes place, when the sperm meets the ovum, fertilization takes place and after the fertilization takes place, when the uh, genes will shuffle, that time the genes may exchange their position, that time the variation may take place and when there is some kind of error in copying the DNA, that time also the variation will take place as well as environment is also equally responsible. Now how? Let us say the position of gene is changed. That position of gene which is changed it is de depending upon my eye color. Means that if the changing in the position of the genes can change my eye color then after my birth my eye color will change slowly. If the position of the genes changing changes my hair color it means my hair color will also may change. For example, let us take the peoples in the uh, winter countries where the winter is majority. Nowadays because of global warming there is none of the country where winter is in majority except few. In some countries due to the uh, change in the weather conditions the hair remains brown in color. But in some country peoples are by birth having black like Indians. Okay, so peoples are having black hair like Indians. So what happens is the Environment is also a great factor in determining sometimes the hair color also and the skin color also. Now, having said all about this, what happens in during the copying of DNA when the DNA copies itself? When the DNA will start to copy and if there is some kind of error happens during that copying, that time also variation may take place. So in a family, having two or three children, we cannot say that this child is exactly looking like father. No, because it is a sexual reproduction and hair shedding of gametes do take place. We can say that the child is having a look like a father, but yet some kind of behavior must be matching with the mother. So there will be no identical copy of the parents in in sexual reproduction because there is variation take place and this variation is only the observable differences. I am talking this only for the children. I am not talking about twins here because the identical twins they do share lot of similarities. Sometimes we can't even identify the identical twins. By the names also we can't even identify because they are look alike. But for the normal born of a children, if there is a particular gap, two or three years gap between a brother and a sister in the same family, then there will be observable differences. Very nicely we can guess that observable differences. By looking itself we can understand that yes, maybe the child is looking like father, 
looking like father means not complete looking like father or not completely looking like mother looking like mother means not completely looking like mother just sharing some kind of facial structure like mother or like father but still the behavior and the facial structure and some attitudes attributes these are all will be the mixing of the parents means the parents character will be also present there both the parents character must be present that is what the sexual reproduction in sexual reproduction that is what happens both the parents character will be present there is no other way we cannot say that complete look alike in asexual reproduction we can say because only one parent is involved for the process of reproduction but here sharing of gametes takes place so there will be variation there will be variation so what happens is according to genetics almost 90% 95% of the dna is same for each and every individual but last 10 to 5% 5 to 10% of the dna is different because it is consists of jumping genes which is also called as transposons transposons t r a n s p o s o n s transposons this transposons of the jumping gene which is present in the body of the human being makes the human being different from each other this is what happens this is what variation observable differences means because of this the differences are there in the complete human race in the complete human species so i guess i hope it's clear to you people character means any inheritable feature which you are showing trait means alternate form of a character completely opposite completely opposite so it may be possible sometimes traits will be dominant over character sometimes characters will be dominant over trait we can say we can say it now next is the variation variation is any observable differences any observable differences means when the difference is nicely observed why that there is difference because we humans comes from sexual reproduction there is a exchange of gametes and we are not look alike we are different from each other we are different from each other because our maternal and paternal chromosome both shares both shares so we cannot say that we are complete look alike of mother or complete look alike of father this is what the variation means so i hope it's clear to you and please go through the example of the family what i have given that in a family that one mother one father and son and daughter is there it doesn't means the daughter will completely look alike of father maybe the daughter is having the look of father behavior of mother hair color of father eyes are like mother like that please uh, example whatever i have given just go through i hope you understood this video please match it with your text next again i will be uploading few more videos on genetics till the chapter completes